Hey guys, how's it going? Are you ready for drawing time today? Awesome. All right, let's get on our drawing hat. Always want to make sure you're wearing your drawing artist hat when you're doing drawing time. <laughs> and let's get started. Okay, so today, guess what we're going to draw? We're going to draw a ladybug. I really like ladybugs. They're very pretty bugs. They're big and red and they have black spots in them. And Wait a second, there's a ladybug right over here behind me. Let's go look. Hey, Mrs. Ladybug. Oh, maybe she'll come down to say hi. Can you come say hi? Oh, look, here she is. Hello, I am Mrs. Ladybug. It's Mrs. Ladybug. Hi, Mrs. Ladybug. How are you today? I'm doing fine. That's good, she's doing fine. Can you help us figure out how to draw ladybugs? Oh yes, yes, of course. Okay, all right, so look here. She's big and she has a big round um, red, kind of a big round red circle for her body. And then she has a big round black circle for her head. And then she has little black circles all over her body. Oh, and she has three legs on each side. Very nice. I think I have an idea of how to draw her. Thank you, Mrs. Ladybug. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, let's put her, let's see, let's put her over here. And maybe she'll just kind of watch us <laughs> draw today. Okay, let's get, let's get going here. We're going to do our drawing in four parts. We're going to draw it out with our pencil first. Then we're going to go back with our black marker and draw over the pencil lines. Then we're going to get out our colored pencils and color it in. Then we're going to go back and add even more color. You up for it? Okay, let's go. All right, so ladybugs, this shouldn't be too hard. Ladybugs are just a bunch of circles connected together. So you can draw a big circle right here, just in the middle of your page, draw a big circle. That'll be her body. And then let's draw another circle at the bottom and make this one kind of wide too and make it overlap that circle a little bit and that will be her head. Now, let's see, I'm going to take my eraser and just erase that other little line. There we go. Now it's not so confusing. And let's add her legs. So let's have three lines just coming away to the side. One, two, three. And then let's have her eyes. So her eye is going to be a big circle right here leave a space and then do another circle and put two smaller circles in the middle there and then a little nose and a big smile now a smile is kind of like the letter U have you ever written the letter U before it's kind of like that except it's not so tall and skinny it's a little bit wider I'm gonna erase that right now okay nice looking good now let's have our antennas so for her antennas, I'm going to draw like a candy cane like this. And then I'm going to make the candy cane curl in. Let's do the same thing. Candy cane curl. Candy cane curl. And then I think the last thing we need to do is have her spots. So let's draw a line that goes down the middle. And then a bunch of spots. So you can draw a big spot. You can draw a little spot. You can draw half a spot. You can draw whatever sorts of spots you want. Just as long as you put some nice spots on there, we'll be good. Ladybug, you're looking really good. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. I think we're ready to go. Nice. We finished part one, guys. High five. Well, if you want to stop here, if all you want to do is a sketch today, that's great. You're all done. But if you want to keep going, let's go into part two. For part two, we're going to draw back over the pencil lines with our black marker. Then we're going to erase the pencil lines underneath. Okay, ready? Here we go. Nice, guys. Guess what? You just finished part two of your drawing. Nice. All right, well, if you want to stop here, this is also a great place to stop. You have a finished black and white drawing of your ladybug. But if you want to keep going, let's go on to part three. For part three, we're going to color in our ladybug. So let's get out Miss Ladybug again. Mrs. Ladybug, will you come here, please? Oh, wow, look, she's red and she's black. And that's really all there is to her. Nice. I think she's very pretty. So 
let's get out our red pencil and our black colored pencil color her in so I'm gonna color red everywhere except for the spots and except for her head red except for her head that kind of rhymes <laughs> And I'm kind of coloring up and down. I'm going back and forth, kind of being scribbly in the way that I'm coloring. But that's fine if you want to color that way. All right, one side done. Now let's do the other side. Alrighty, coming there. Did you know ladybugs can fly? It's really cool. They have little wings. That's what this line is. This line is showing that their wings are all closed up. And when they want to, they can just pick up and fly to the next plant or wherever they like to go. I think that's pretty cool. I'd like to be a ladybug. <laughs> okay, nice. Now let's do the black dots. Get out my black pencil and just color in those black dots. One side done, and then the other side. Did you know that I was actually a ladybug for Halloween one year? It was pretty cool. I had a whole ladybug costume. I had little antennas and a red shirt and I think some black little shoes and polka dots, of course. I really enjoyed it. All right, now we can color her face black. And I think I might leave her nose a not color it in yet for a second and then I'll go back later and add a different color. Nice. Oh, she's looking great. And then her eyes. Maybe we'll make those blue. I think that would look nice. And her nose. Maybe I'll make that red again. I think that would look good. It would match her her wings. Guys, and you finished your ladybug. High five. She looks really nice. What do you think, Miss Ladybug? I think it's beautiful. Oh, she thinks that's beautiful. Okay, perfect. So if you want to stop here, this is a great place to stop. You have a finished coloring of your ladybug. But if you still want to keep watching, let's go on to part four. For part four, we're going to add some background colors, and we're going to add a few more colors to the ladybug. So let's go back with our red marker, red pencil rather. And I'm going to color a little bit darker just around the outside edge of the ladybug. So anywhere that's close to the black line, I'm going to color in extra dark. That just kind of helps her make, ma it helps the colors kind of stand out a little bit more. Looks a little darker, it's adding a little bit of a shadow to, to the ladybug. And I think I'll do the same thing for the black spots. I'll just color, color a little bit dark close to the outside lines. Maybe I'll do the same thing on her head. You know, one thing I forgot that's really nice, if you want to make your ladybug a, a ladybug, then you could add some little eyelashes. So eyelashes are just going to be curvy lines that kind of go up like this. You could put two or three. And then she looks ladylike. <laughs> okay, nice. And then let's add some background colors. So, Mrs. Ladybug, where do you like to go? I like to go in the grass and the leaves and the plants. Okay, she likes to go in the grass and the leaves and the plants. So let's draw some leaves and plants and grass for her. I think it would look nice. I'm just going to take, hmm, what should I do? Should I use my pencil? I mean my marker? Maybe. Yeah, let's use our marker. I'm going to draw some chickety jaggedy lines kind of coming away from Mrs. Ladybug. So maybe she's in the center of some grassy area here. And I'll draw a few little grass blades going over here, too. I'm just jiggity-jag, up and down, up and down. But you can color however you want, really. And then I'm going to go with my green pencil, and I'm just going to color in those jiggity-jaggity lines. I like how the green looks with the red. It kind of makes it stand out a little bit. I'm going to color over here, too. Let's get some more green over here. Also, if I'm ever going too fast and you need to pause the video or slow down, you can do that. That's fine. Then you can come back and join us when you're ready. Uh-oh. 
I need to sharpen my pencil. Where's my pencil sharpener? Here we go. Mrs. Ladybug, you are just looking great. Let's do some of this grass down here. Fill this out a little more there. I think we're almost done. Let's see, I'm going to add some more down here. Maybe I'll add a few different types of green, too. You can add some lighter greens, some darker greens. Just give it some more variety. How do you like that, Mrs. Ladybug? Oh, I like that just fine. That's good. <laughs> Glad she likes that. Maybe, hmm, maybe we'll do some darker green, too. Looking nice. And then let's put some more colors behind the green. Maybe, what else should we put? We could put brown, maybe. That would be nice. Oh, maybe there's some flowers. We could draw just a few little flowers with our purple pencils. I'm just making some scribbly lines like this. You can make them look whatever you want them to look. And we could take some of our brown and um, color in some of the brown there. Just give it a little bit more color to look at. I'm gonna color down in this corner here and a little bit up here by that flower. We're so close, you guys. I really like how this drawing turned out. If you ever draw a, a picture of a ladybug, I'd really like to see it. You could send us a picture and then we could show other people too. Wow, guys. And you know what? We just finished our drawing of the ladybug. High five. It looks really great. Let's see what Mrs. Ladybug thinks. Mrs. Ladybug, look, it's finished. Do you like it? Oh, yes, I love it. Guys, high five. Mrs. Ladybug really likes the drawing. I think it looks good. Thanks, Mrs. Ladybug. Well, the last thing we need to do is get out our black markers, and we're going to sign our name in the bottom corner like this. That way, everyone will know who did the beautiful drawing. Alrighty, guys, this has been so much fun. Thanks for drawing along with me today. I would love to see a picture of your drawing. And also, I'd love to know if we should draw something else. What should we draw next time? Do you have a favorite animal or favorite thing that you like to draw? You can ask your mom or dad to write us a note with your idea. You can get in touch with us on Facebook or email or however you want. And then we can draw that next time. Alrighty, we'll see you next time for drawing. Thanks for joining. Bye.